All right, so today I want to talk about long and flat climbs. And I really just think they're not very exciting for bicycle racing. And now there's many reasons for this, but I think the main reason is just the lack of gap. So we'll go, we'll go whack up some, uh, the results from yesterday, because to be honest, on paper, this looked like quite a hard stage, two mountaintop finish, like two climbs at the end with a mountaintop finish. And I mean, look at the time gaps. Most people finish on the same time. You have people like Connor Swift, who's like a big boy, 11 seconds back. Stefan Kung, 18 seconds back. And he did a, a long, a big turn as well. I mean, you got Thibaut Gurnalak as well, who's more of a TT specialist. Be strong. I mean, he's huge and he managed to finish almost on the same time as Gaudu, who won it. And it was just a snooze fest, the whole climb. Nothing happened. And I think this is the issue with cycling now, is that people choose climbs which just aren't very interesting. Like 10K at 5% is dull. And then 7K at 6% or 8K, basically. Again, dull. Because unless there's a raging tailwind, no one's going to attack. So it just means that the race becomes really negative and quite boring. So this is Connor Swiss power data. And it's just like watts per kilo wise, not very impressive. So he does 25 minutes of 5.3 watts per kilo, which is like good. But like, let's be honest, it's really not that impressive. Like, you know, if you st stuck a good amateur at the bottom, they could easily keep up with them. Like, no worries. Like me, like obviously fresh, no worries doing that. Last climb of the day. 5.6 was Bikita for 17 minutes. Remco was like five and a half. Again, stick me on this climb at the bottom fresh. I'm keeping up, no worries. Like it was just such a like boring stage. I mean, obviously there's a headwind which the organizers can't take into account, but like, it's just not a very hard finish. Like if you're going 25K an hour, okay, not like the comms like 27, but even so like on a headwind day like this, like just no one's gonna get spat because it's just not hard enough. Like even if you look at the bottom where Ineos really drove it, like it was six and a half was per kilo for two and a half minutes. Again, like that's like not that hard. Like, you know, if they if it was six and a half the whole time, then yeah, it would be hard, but there's just no way you're getting away. So it just turned into a really boring negative race. And it was just like a bunch sprint at the end. I just don't really like get why they choose these climbs to finish. And I think the thing is, is like, if you wanna have a finish like this, I don't think you need it to be this long. Like if you want to have a reduced bunch sprint, you have the climb at 3k at 6%, it's going to be the same answer. Like after a while, no one's getting spat. Like if you can do five and a half, half was per kilo for 10, you could probably do it for 15. Like, do you know what I mean? There's just, like, it was just the same. And you're just watching it, just be like, is anyone going to attack? No, because it's a headwind and it's not a fast climb. So you're just not going to get away. And it's not long enough so that like, you know, by the end people are tired. And it, the stage well, it was decently hard, like 326 normalized. But if you go before this, like 290 for Connor Swift, like he's obviously quite a big boy. Like it's just not that hard for them. So like, if you think about Connor Swift, his threshold is probably like a 420, 290 watts is less than 75%. Like that's like zone two almost, it is. So again, it's just not crazy hard for the boys, which makes it just, it just isn't that interesting. And I think it's a real issue cycling needs to figure out because I think if you have two hard finishes, it can also be boring because people just wait because they don't want to blow up. But if you have two easy finishes as well, like this, then it's just really dull as well. So I think ultimately what you need to do is have shorter climbs, but steep. And I reckon those are the, the ultimate sweet spot. And also have run-ins to climbs a little bit harder. Like obviously it's, you know, it's a pre-season race. I can see why the organizers don't want to make it crazy hard because some people might not turn up. But I think having this stage every year it's just a bit disappointing to be honest like obviously the numbers are impressive like 432 watts for 17 minutes is impressive for sure but like 5.6 watts per kilo Remco did like 336 watts he's probably 62 63 kilos like it's not really that crazy is it and I think it just goes to show that is you know you need to have inventive stage routes and I think if we saw it at the Vuelta last year where it was really you know up and down like super um punchy on the last stage and when like Lopez abandoned and all the rest of it was second last stage sorry like that was exciting. But if you look at like even the fastest time, so they, they went like 40 seconds quicker, 27K an hour. Again, like no one's attacking much off this either. Like when um, Remco won in the past, he attacked like 300, 400 meters to go. You can see this time, Savan Eric Bistrom got the fastest time, 16.45. Remco just behind. But I mean, I don't know. I, I just think these stages need to go. I don't see any point of it. Like, okay, fine. Have like a, five, a 3K climb, but it's just really dull at the end. And I think people need to mix it up a little bit more. Otherwise... All you get is on climbs like this, it's basically just a bunch sprint. And like, we have enough bunch sprints. People find bunch sprints boring. So I think, you know, if you have it 
on a climb another bunch sprint i don't think that makes cycling more interesting i think you need to have ways of making the stages even harder because the level is just a lot better and people realize that like doing suicide attacks with 3k to go or 4k to go isn't going to work people are happy to sit in because they can look at the numbers and see or oh, if i went in the wind i'd be caught or whatever so yeah i think um it's symptomatic of cycling these days but i think it's getting less exciting in certain regards i think more exciting than others like on the medium mountain ones like a terreno stage where it's really up and down it was very interesting but i think on traditional finishes like this people realize it's just not worth going into the red and that you can make more time up on the tt and i think it's it's tough for organizers and i think that's why you've got to move away from some of these like climbs like this that aren't super super hard and maybe have you know more up and down before the finish people gamble earlier um, and I think then it's exciting. But anyway, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what yours are below. Uh, cheers for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.